Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Schefter on Brandon Ayak, there were some conversations at one point between the 49ers and Commanders. Another day, another rumor involving San Francisco 49ers wide receiver Brandon Ayak. This one comes via ESPN's Adam Schefter involving a trade with the Washington Commanders, who have a general manager who played a hand in drafting Ayak. This report comes a day after Ayak requested a meeting with the 49ers. According to Schefter, the talks did not reach a point where a deal became close, there were some conversations at one point between the 49ers and Commanders. Commanders were interested, but they decided not to do that deal. With the 36th pick in the second round, Washington had a prime opportunity to bolster their wide receiver core. This was the range where some speculated that even Debo Samuel could be on the trading block. However, the commanders, led by Peters, opted for a different strategy, selecting Dijon Newton, a defensive tackle out of Illinois. They had three second-round draft picks but didn't wind up taking a wideout until the 100th pick in the draft, a player who also has ties to the Niners, Luke McCaffrey. Washington waiting nearly two rounds after where a projected trade would have taken place might be telling about how far off a deal between both sides was to getting done. Ayak has a close friendship with Commander's quarterback Jaden Daniels, so it's not far-fetched that a trade could have happened. We should also note that just because the 49ers entertained the idea of trading Ayak doesn't mean they are or were actively shopping him. We haven't heard much about the San Francisco 49ers suffering from a potential Super Bowl hangover for the second time under Kyle Shanahan. The overwhelming majority of analysts believe the Niners will be right back in the thick of things as they continue to dominate the NFC. So when The Athletic listed the 49ers as one of the teams they project to be overrated this season, it'll catch your eye, San Francisco 49ers Kyle Shanahan always gives them a chance, and Brock Purdy again has a talented supporting cast, although Brandon Ayuk faces an uncertain future. Questions loom over the defense, however, with first-year coordinator Nick Sorensen directing a unit that lost Arik Armstead and Javon Kinlaw to free agency and must deal with the extended absence of Dre Greenlaw, who is recovering from Achilles surgery. The 49ers hope to put another heartbreaking Super Bowl defeat in the past and make another run at a ring, but doing so could prove more challenging than many expect. It's crucial to acknowledge the potential impact of Arik Armstead's absence on the 49ers' defense. His contributions, both quantifiable and unquantifiable, have been instrumental in the team's success over the years. His transition from the edge to defensive tackle elevated the unit's performance to a new level, a fact that might be overlooked when considering the team's defensive capabilities. The secondary should be better as they are more athletic. Talanoa Hufanga's potential return gives them a playmaker, but Dre Greenlaw's loss is another unquantifiable player that no team can afford to play without. His timetable to return is uncertain, putting pressure on Devondra Campbell to step up in his absence. 49ers could see a massive shakeup at cornerback after 2024. The San Francisco 49ers enter 2024 with a strong roster. There aren't many glaring weaknesses, but this may be the last season they can maintain such a strong roster. That is why they may see a massive shakeup at cornerback after 2024. The Niners made a lot of additions in the offseason across their roster. They have built up a lot of depth in key areas to guard against injuries. One area in which they have done so is at cornerback. In the offseason, San Francisco signed Isaac Yadam, Rocky Sin, and Chase Lucas to add to the cornerback depth. Yadam and Yasin have a good chance at playing time. The team also drafted Renardo Green in the second round of the NFL draft earlier this year, too, which means after this season, the team will transition to a much different look at cornerback. Last season, the Niners went with Charverius Ward, Diamador Lenore, and Ambry Thomas for the majority of snaps at cornerback. Ward had a breakout year and was an all-pro on the outside. 
Lenore, meanwhile, impressed at the nickel spot. Thomas was definitely the weak link, though, and his inconsistency cropped up in key moments. The Niners added so much depth at the position as a way to improve the outside spot opposite Ward. But they may also be thinking about a potential replacement for Ward, too. While Ward certainly deserves an extension for his phenomenal 2023 season, the Niners currently have other priorities. They are currently working on extending wide receiver Brandon Ayuk, which is taking all of their attention. Next offseason, quarterback Brock Purdy figures to land a big extension. The 49ers have a lot of money going a lot of places, and Ward may end up being the odd man out and could end up landing a big contract elsewhere. The same could be said for Lenore. 2024 is his last year under contract, and if he plays like he did last year, he could end up scoring a big deal in free agency. On the other hand, Thomas is a very real cut candidate before the season begins. If he does not prove himself in training camp and the preseason, then the Niners may very well release him. Ward and Lenore should see a lot of playing time, but after this season, the position could become much less clear for San Francisco. San Francisco 49ers to meet with Brandon Ayuk to discuss future, per report. The San Francisco 49ers were only a couple of plays away from winning Super Bowl 58, so everyone understands that the team doesn't have a lot of things to change when it comes to making the right adjustments that will help the team finally take home the Lombardi next year. While they don't have to make many changes, Brandon Ayuk is a player the Niners cannot do without. The wideout has been a terrific athlete for Kyle Shanahan's offense, but the drama surrounding his contract is causing plenty of buzz in the media. Plenty of NFL teams are keeping tabs on the situation as Ayak is a superb athlete who can add instant production to their passing game. Those interested in his services may finally get to make a plan on Ayak as a meeting will determine how his future at Levi Stadium will play out. According to Grant Cohn of all 49ers, Ayuk was the one who initiated the meeting to iron out the wrinkles that are preventing them from moving forward to make the Super Bowl. Brandon Ayuk told us that he wanted to set this meeting up himself, Ryan Clark said on ESPN. And when he was sitting with us, he said that he's taking negotiations personal. The way that they have negotiated with him, the way that they have told him why he's worth what he's worth, it has touched him. It has affected him. He says he wants to be in San Francisco first, but is comfortable playing elsewhere if that's something the 49ers are willing to do via trade. And I will tell you this when he sat with us, he did not walk into the room alone. First, it was Brandon Ayuk. Second, it was Jaden Daniels. I'm not a tea leaf reader, but it seems like Ayuk wouldn't mind playing in Washington. It's good for the 49er faithful that Ayuk does want to extend his stay in San Francisco. However, it's unfortunate that money is the biggest issue preventing him from extending his partnership with Brock Purdy. Cohn reported that the Arizona State product could get at least $30 million from other teams in free agency. Niners fans hope that Ayuk will extend his stay with the team. They can at least count on the team to do everything they can to keep him in the Bay Area. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Brandon Ayuk? Leave your opinion in the comments.